Stephen Still joins me now from Buffalo, New York. He's a professor of practice at the University of Buffalo Still Institute for Sustainable Transportation and Logistics. Stephen, you are definitely the right person to be talking to. So we just saw what's happening in Vancouver. Is there any city even close to what it's doing and has managed to do so far? Well, yeah, Vancouver is certainly a great case, but there are so many cities that uh, are going to be catching up. It's been said that there's going to be more change in transportation in the next five years than there's been in the last 50. So what cities so are you talking about? Well, I'd say let's just look at federal policy, right? In fact, um, VP Kamala Harris was at our university today, the University of Buffalo, talking about investing in more charging stations, cleaner energy, so it, it's going to be very uh, widespread. I mean, California is leading the charge now, uh, Massachusetts, New York State. But, um, yeah, we're, we're going to see lots of movement in the next few years. You mentioned California. Uh, the governor, Gavin Newsom, has already said it wants to go all electric by 2035. Will the energy grid there be ready? And what will be some of the challenges looking ahead for California? Yeah, cer certainly, uh, if we transfer all that energy that's now in gasoline to uh, the electric grid, certainly we need incremental energy transmission. And uh, again, Kamala Harris today talked about more wind, more solar. Bill Gates talks about more nuclear. So we need more energy. It can be clean energy. It doesn't have to be coal. How much are people actually saving, Stephen, by switching uh, from gas to electric? Right. So we really do need a lot of education and consumers. But, you know, specific to your question, you can get 300 miles of range in an electric vehicle for 5 to $10. So compare that to a gasoline car that's, you know, depending <laughs> where gas prices are today. It's $40, $50, so substantial savings. Uh, one thing not understood is the savings in maintenance. No more oil changes, likely no more brake changes. So the, uh, the maintenance costs can come down substantially as well. But Stephen, you know, one of the problems in, that's stopping me at least from getting an electric car is it, it depends on where you live, finding those charging stations, and not all of them are free. Right. So, frankly, there is Tesla and everyone else. Tesla did build a very extensive charging network. You really can travel any part in the country to any other part and have no issues with range, range anxiety. But the other, the other manufacturers truly have to catch up. We need, we need more networks that are non-Tesla for all the other manufacturers now coming on board, like Ford and GM and all the others. All right, we'll leave it there. Stephen Still, thank you very much. Thanks.